First off, did you know that the average person spends six years of their life dreaming? That's right, six whole years. It's crazy to think about how much time we spend in a world that is completely different from our reality. But that's not all. Most people have between four and six dreams every night. That means we are constantly experiencing different scenarios, people, and emotions while we sleep. However, here's the scary part you forget 95% to 99% of all the dreams you have. That's right, the vast majority of your dreams simply disappear from your memory. So what happens during those forgotten dreams? Who knows, but it's definitely something to think about. Now, let's talk about the people we encounter in our dreams. Did you know that in dreams, we can only see faces that we have seen in real life before? It's impossible to keep track of thousands of faces that you come across each day. You might not remember the people in your dream, but they are all real people you have encountered in your life. So that stranger you saw on the street the other day, they could potentially appear in your next dream. Here's another interesting fact you can't read when you're dreaming. If you are unsure whether you are dreaming or not, try reading something. Sometimes the text will be fuzzy, garbled, just symbols, or it won't make any sense. Sometimes if you look away and then look back, it will say something different or there will no longer be any writing there. It's as if your brain can't fully process the concept of reading in the dream world. Lastly, you can't tell the time when you're dreaming. This means that the concept of time doesn't exist in your dream world. You could be dreaming for five minutes or five hours and you wouldn't even know it. So, there you have it folks, some truly spooky facts about the world of dreams. Who knows what other mysteries lie within our subconscious minds. Until next time, sweet dreams or maybe not so sweet after hearing these facts. Have you ever wondered if you are dreaming while you are asleep? Dreams can be strange and confusing, and it can be hard to tell if what you are experiencing is real or not. However, there are some clues that can help you determine if you are in a dream or not. One clue is to look for things with numbers on them, such as clocks or phones. In dreams, these objects may not function correctly. The time on a clock may change rapidly or the hands may not move at all. Similarly, light switches and other knobs may not work as intended in a dream. Another clue is to look at your hands. In dreams, your fingers may be the wrong number or size, or they may be deformed or discolored. When you try to count them, the number may change or the fingers may keep morphing into different shapes and sizes. If you encounter a mirror in your dream, you may notice that your reflection looks different from how you expect it to be. Your hair or skin may be a different color, or you may be wearing a strange outfit. You may even have trouble recognizing yourself in the reflection. One interesting fact about dreams is that you can't see your nose. If you try to look at your nose in a dream, you won't be able to see it. This is because your brain filters out this information in waking life and also in dreams. In conclusion, there are several clues that can help you determine if you are dreaming or not. By paying attention to these clues, you can learn to recognize when you are in a dream and take control of your dream experiences. When your body becomes paralyzed, it means that you are unable to move your muscles voluntarily. This can occur due to a variety of reasons, such as a spinal cord injury, neurological disorders, or certain medical conditions. Paralysis can affect different parts of the body, ranging from a single limb to the entire body. Paralysis can lead to a loss of independence and mobility, making it difficult to perform daily activities such as dressing, eating, and bathing. It can also lead to social isolation and depression. In severe cases, paralysis can affect your ability to breathe, which can be life-threatening. Depending on the cause and severity of the paralysis, there may be treatment options available to improve mobility and function. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, and assistive devices such as wheelchairs can often help individuals with paralysis to regain some independence and improve their quality of life. If you or someone you know is experiencing paralysis, it is important to seek medical attention as soon as possible. Early intervention and treatment can help to prevent further complications and improve outcomes. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel.